Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys about sampling for algae in your river. So the first thing that you want to do when you get to your site is to look at your river and establish what are the prevalent substrates that are found. Here at Rittenhouse Park, we have uh, mostly rock with a little bit of sand. So the first part I'm going to show you is sampling on a soft substrate like sand or mud. There's a few pieces of equipment that you're going to need. The first is a large composite bottle. The second is your much smaller sample bottle. You're then going to need a petri dish, a squirt bottle, and a spatula. So first, take your spatula and your petri dish. What you're going to do is take your petri dish and place it into the sand and then slip the spatula underneath it like this. So I plunge the petri dish into the sand and slip my spatula underneath. I've carefully then inverted and lifted up. I now have a petri dish that is full of sand. I'm now going to transfer the sand with whatever water is there into my larger composite bottle. And I'm going to use the uh, squirt bottle to help me out. So I'm going to carefully sit so I don't fall and kind of nudge larger rocks in there and then the sand. And it's okay if you don't get everything into the bottle. And I'm using a little bit of the water to help me out. like so. I would then rinse out my petri dish because I want it cut clean. I then add a little bit of river water to my composite bottle, cap it, and shake. So the algae are actually attached to the individual sand grades. The shaking is going to dislodge them into the supernate and above. You'll want to do this at several rocks at your site or several pieces of sand. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to sample from a rock. So to do that, we find a good rock, like so. It's got a good flat surface and that flat surface was facing up. The next piece of equipment that you're going to want to have is a toothbrush. And so I give my toothbrush a rinse in the river and then carefully and gently move the toothbrush on the top of the rock as if you were brushing your teeth. And you want to go in small circles slowly. If you go too fast, then you're going to start making a mess um, outside the rock. I then take my toothbrush into my composite bottle again and rinse it off with the squirt bottle. I then take my rock and rinse it too into the squirt bottle. So my rock was pretty dirty. What you're going to want to do is keep using the toothbrush on top until the water starts to look like the water in the water bottle. And you might do this two or three times. So I rinse again. And then I rinse my rock again. And now what I want to do is put the cap on and shake again. Once I've done enough sites at my, or enough rocks or sand or wood or plants or mud or whatever is at your site, once I've done that enough times and my composite bottle looks like 
it has encompassed the variation at the site, I then want to pour the supernatant off. And so after shaking, I wait a few seconds for the larger particles to settle and then carefully pour off the liquid into my sample bottle like so. This then gets capped and taken back to the lab for analysis. All of this material can get dumped, given a rinse, and then used again. Hi, I'm back here again to show you guys how to collect samples for algae at Site 2. So Site 2 is definitely more river-like in that it follows a long path. However, the water, as you can see, is still not moving as fast as it is at the video from Site 1. The, one of the unique things though that you can see about uh, this site here is that there is actually lots of green algae growing and you would want to sample for that. So the green algae you'll see is this stuff floating on the top that has lots of bubbles in it. We're here during the afternoon, photosynthesis is occurring at a really fast rate and therefore there's going to be lots of oxygen bubbles. So much like site one, you want to carefully collect some twigs and make sure you get some of that algae. And then you're also going to want to use a lot of surface water. And so carefully without disturbing too much, fill your composite bottle. Shake it up again and then pour off the supernatant into your sample bottle. Which you'll then take back to the lab for analysis. Once again, when you're done with your composite bottle, you can dump it out and give it a very quick rinse. Have a good time.